Hi guys. Welcome to True Channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Top 20 most haunted places in the United States. So make sure to watch the full video. 1 Bodie, California. Once home to 10,000 people, Bodie boomed in the 1870s and 80s when gold was found in the hills surrounding Mono Lake. It's now a state historic park with some parts of the town preserved in a state of arrested decayed tables with place settings, and shops eerily stocked with supplies. It's not surprising that there are many reports of supernatural activity here, including ghost sightings and music playing from shuttered bars. There is also a legend that any visitor who takes anything, even a rock, from Bodie will be cursed with bad luck and health problems upon leaving. 2 Alabama's first capital and famous ghost town takes its name from the state's longest river, located at the confluence of the Cahaba and Alabama rivers. Abandoned since the Civil War, its vacant buildings, slave graves, and grim graveyards are now a popular destination for ghost tours and supernatural tales. 3 Crescent Hotel, Eureka Springs, Arkansas Built in 1886, the Crescent Hotel is a luxury resort with, a winter, garden for young ladies, and a junior college. But the oddest milestone in history came when it got a new owner, Norman G. Baker, in 1937. Baker was a millionaire inventor who, despite his lack of medical training, decided to pose as a doctor and turn a hotel into a hospital that could cure cancer. 4 Dock Street Theater, Charleston, South Carolina One of the oldest theaters in the United States, this downtown Charleston venue has built up a lot of buzz and history over the years. After the original theater was destroyed by fire, the Planters Inn was built in its place. It was converted back into a theater in the 1930s. 5. The Driscoll The Driscoll is a majestic Romanesque hotel with modern rooms and an iconic brick facade, drawing European tourists and wedding parties since 1886. It's a true Austin landmark, and according to some, a true hot spot for ghosts. Travelers have noted eerily abnormal sounds through its ornate corridors, as well as phantom sightings of the hotel's namesake, Jesse Driscoll, whose portrait still hangs in the lobby. They say Driscoll never recovered from the heartbreak of losing his hotel in a high-stakes poker game, and honestly, we get it, this hotel is a hard one to say goodbye to. 6 Eastern State Penitentiary Philadelphia, Pennsylvania The castle-like Eastern State Penitentiary took solitary confinement to new levels when it was built in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone, when an inmate left his cell, a guard would cover his head with a hood so he couldn't see or be seen. The prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding from 1913 until it closed in 1970, although the forms of punishment did not get any less severe, chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrists is one example. 7. St. Augustine Lighthouse, Florida St. Augustine Lighthouse draws about 225,000 visitors a year but is also known for its surreal visitors. Several tragic events have occurred at this historic site where supernatural phenomena are claimed to have taken place. One of the first was when a lighthouse keeper crashed while painting the tower. Since then, his ghost has been watching the area. 8. Winchester Mystery House, San Jose, California The Winchester Mystery House is arguably one of the most disturbing building projects in history. After the deaths of her husband and child, Sarah Winchester, the wife of a rifle maker's son, learned from her seer that her family had been murdered by the ghosts of gun victims. 9. Trans Allegheny Asylum, Weston, West Virginia the Trans Allegheny Asylum opened to patients in 1864, and in the 1950s the West Virginia Asylum was slated to hold only 250 but peaked at serving more than 2,400 patients. Extreme overcrowding led to inhumane conditions, such as lack of heat and confinement of nursing patients in cages, and patients became increasingly aggressive, setting fires and assaulting staff. The asylum closed permanently in 1994, but the spirits of some patients are said to remain. Ghost tours are available for those who want to see how some patients lived and died in cramped rooms. 10 St. Augustine Lighthouse, Florida Street. The Augustine Lighthouse is visited by nearly 225,000 people annually, but it is also known for its otherworldly visitors. Several tragic events have occurred at this historic site where supernatural phenomena are claimed to have taken place. 11 The Stanley Hotel, Estes Park, Colorado The Stanley Hotel's magnificent Georgian architecture and world-famous whiskey bar have been drawing travelers to Estes Park since the hotel opened in 1909. But Stanley reached new levels of fame after inspiring Stephen King's fictional Overlook Hotel from The Shining. That eerie association aside, many other ghost sightings and mysterious piano music have been connected to the hotel. The Stanley Hotel leans into its reputation quite cleverly, 
offering nightly ghost tours and psychic consultations from the in-house Madame Vera. 12 Sheffield Island Lighthouse, Norwalk, Connecticut. Built in 1868 to help ships reach Connecticut's Sheffield Island, a 45-minute ferry ride from South Norwalk, this tent-room, Victorian-style lighthouse has a bit of a troubled past. In 1972, the lighthouse's original keeper died suddenly while watching passing ships with a spyglass, his death was never fully explained. 13 RMS Queen Mary, Long Beach, California. In addition to a brief stint as a warship during World War II, the RMS Queen Mary served as a luxury ocean liner from 1936 to 1967. Murders, sailors crushed under engine room doors, children drowning in swimming pools. The city of Long Beach bought the boat and turned it into a hotel in 1967, and it still serves that purpose, despite reportedly allowing the ghosts of deceased passengers to stay for free. 14 Red Onion Saloon, Skagway, Alaska. Established as a brothel for miners during the Klondike Gold Rush in 1898, Alaska's Red Onion Saloon had what set it apart from other brothels. I use dolls to run my business. It's always a good sign, every day, 10 dolls were placed in the downstairs bar, each representing one of the women working in the room upstairs. Customers choose one of the dolls and then place it on the counter to indicate that a particular employee is busy. 15 Pittock Mansion, Portland, Oregon. When Oregon pioneers Henry and Georgiana Pittock reached their golden age in 1909, they decided to build their dream home, spurring the Pittock Mansion's innovative design and construction. Unfortunately, the couple only lived in the house for a few years before passing away. Georgiana lived in 1918 and Henry in 1919. The area prospered during colonial times with sawmills, paper mills, and other businesses. When coal was discovered in western Pennsylvania, people eventually abandoned the mill and the surrounding town, leaving behind a ghost town and a few supernatural wanderers. The most popular resident of Pine Barrens is undoubtedly the Jersey Devil. 16 1 if by land, 2 if by sea New York. Often considered one of the most romantic restaurants in the world. 1 if by land, 2 if by sea has everything you need for a perfect evening. Golden chandeliers, a table by the fireplace, the finest crispy dishes. And about 20 ghosts. Spirits are reported to be mischievous rather than malicious. The paranormal is classic ghost pranks like flickering lights, tilted picture frames, and moving dishes. 17 Ohio State Correctional Institution, Mansfield, Ohio. Opened in 1896, the Ohio State Correctional Institution is known for its gothic exterior and ominous six-story cell block. But its biggest claim to fame is that it served as a filming location for the Shawshank Redemption, even though the prison was shrouded in terror long before Red and Andy were holed up there. 18 Myrtle Plantation, St. Francisville, Louisiana. Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, Myrtle Plantation is considered one of the most haunted places in America. The house is rumored to be above an Indian burial ground and is inhabited by at least a dozen other ghosts. 19 Mizpah Hotel, Tonopah, Nevada. The Mizpah Hotel opened in 1907 with massive granite walls and Victorian decor as one of Nevada's first luxury hotels and was completely renovated in 2011. Like the crimson furniture, he proudly embraces. 20 Masonic Temple, Detroit, Michigan. Boasting 16 floors, over 1,000 rooms, and a Gothic exterior, the Masonic Temple is one of the most impressive architectural additions to the Detroit skyline. Rumor has it there's more to it than meets the eye, like hidden passageways and stairs. But the most famous urban myth associated with the temple is architect George D. Mason, legend has it that Mason died after falling off a roof after going bankrupt while financing a building. It's hard to find facts to support this story, but they certainly help explain reports of ghosts climbing stairs to the roof of a building. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go, 